Hey there, welcome back to Pepper Geek. Today, I'm gonna to be talking all about what may be eating your pepper plants at night. There's nothing worse than going out in the garden only to find that something has been feeding on your plants overnight while you sleep. Of course, there are many different pests that may be eating your peppers, but today I'm gonna to focus specifically on nocturnal feeders. The first nocturnal pests that may be responsible for feeding on your peppers are slugs and snails. Slugs and snails can cause quite a bit of damage to your plants, especially on tender young leaves. The damage typically looks like ragged holes in leaves and fruits, and often you'll find slime trails that have been left behind. If slugs and snails are a problem in your garden, luckily you do have a few options to remedy the situation. You can try using a commercial bait containing iron phosphate, which is toxic to slugs and snails. Or you can try creating a trap made out of beer or yeast, which will attract the slugs and eventually drown them. However, this only works in a really small area, and you have to replenish the trap pretty frequently. Many garden centers also sell copper tape, which acts as a barrier for slugs and snails. So you can put the tape on your potted plants or even around your garden bed. There is also some interesting research showing that coffee grounds, due to the caffeine, is effective at deterring slugs. I'll leave a link to an interesting study on that below. Finally, the most straightforward way to control slugs and snails in your garden is simply by handpicking them off. Though this is time consuming and you do have to go out at night and find them. To prevent slugs and snails from being a problem in the first place, be sure you have good circulation around your plants. Prune your lower leaves, limit the use of your mulch, and provide adequate drainage. The next pest I want to talk about are cutworms and caterpillars. Cutworms are most active at night, but you may also see them on a cloudy day. When disturbed, these pests curl up quickly into a C shape. There are different species of cutworms, and they damage plants in different ways. Surface cutworms munch at the stem of the plant, causing it to completely collapse over, which is actually where they got their name in the first place. Some cutworms climb up the stems and feed, while subterranean cutworms actually feed underground at your roots. Handpicking cutworms using bait, using BT, or even creating little plant collars for the stems of your vulnerable plants are all effective ways at controlling them. You can use cardboard, foil, or plastic to create a small collar for your vulnerable peppers. Be sure to stay on top of weeding as well. The third nocturnal pest that I want to discuss are earwigs. Earwigs are creepy looking insects that have pincers on their rear end. They like to hide during the day in small crevices or under decaying mulch. We have a love-hate relationship with earwigs. Even though they can devastate young pepper plants, they also feed on aphids, one of the most common and frustrating pepper plant pests. Earwigs typically leave behind small ragged holes in leaves and soft fruits. The damage from earwigs looks similar to that of caterpillars. If you're wondering whether earwigs are the culprit, consider going outside at night to observe. Because earwigs are also considered beneficial, controlling them is not always necessary. If your earwig problem is completely out of control, you can bait and trap them with a simple oil trap. Simply use a cat food or tuna fish can with one inch of fish or veggie oil with bacon or meat grease mixed in at the bottom. Discard of any earwigs that you catch and then refill the trap. This trap works best when the can is buried in the soil at ground level. However, it can attract critters to your garden because it is bacon or meat grease. To keep populations under control, be mindful of any decaying moist material around your home and garden, such as old mulch. Spinosad is also effective against earwigs. Uh, we use Captain Jack's, which has worked pretty well for us in the past. The next pest I want to talk about are beetles. These guys are one of the most destructive pests in the garden, and they can very quickly decimate a crop. We actually had an issue with Asiatic beetles munching on our pepper plants at night this year. Like most pests, beetle damage typically looks like small, ragged, irregular holes. Often the damage is scattered across the plant rather than concentrated on one area. The Japanese beetle leaves behind damage that kind of looks like lace. However, Japanese beetles are active during the day while Asiatic beetles are active at night, so that can help you narrow it down. If you're out during the day, you can also check underneath the soil, you might find some beetles burrowing there. The best way to control Asiatic beetles, while extremely time consuming, is by knocking them off of your plants into a bucket of soapy water. Like other pests, they prefer moist environments and they won't survive well in drought conditions. So keep this in mind when watering your plants. The next pest I want to talk about are hornworms. Hornworms are the caterpillars of large moths. They get their name from the horn that protrudes from their rear end. 
While they're typically known to feast on tomatoes, they'll happily munch on your peppers or other members of the nightshade family. They can destroy your crop in a matter of days. Hornworms leave behind large holes in your leaves and fruits. These pests start feeding on the upper part of the plant and leave behind black droppings that are easily visible to the naked eye. One way of controlling hornworms is by handpicking them off of your plants and disposing of them. You can also use predatory insects. Green lacewings and ladybugs will feed off the eggs, and predatory wasps will feed on the grown hornworms. If you prefer to use a pesticide, Bt and spinosad are both good options. Keep in mind that spinosad is toxic to bees when it's wet, so be sure to use the product when bees are not active. Now, of course, there may be something not on this list that's feeding on your peppers at night. Deer are nocturnal, and while not their veggie of choice, they will eat peppers if there's no other option available. Aphids could also be feeding on your plants at night. We have a video on aphids, I'll leave a link to that below. As always, it's beneficial to have a wide variety of flowers in your garden to attract beneficial insects to your veggie garden. Pest damage can be really difficult to identify because often it looks the same from one pest to another, but hopefully this video helped you out in identifying what the nocturnal pest may be that's eating your pepper plants. So let us know in the comments what nocturnal pests you've seen eating your peppers at night and what you've done to control them. Thanks so much for watching, we'll see you next time.